I've chosen to talk about the Helena River, which is registered as an Aboriginal Heritage Site number 3758, and it's a closed site, uh, registered for its mythological, ceremonial and repository significance. Dreaming stories recount how the Wargul formed the course of the Lower Helena River from Mundjalina, or Mundaring, to Guildford. The Helena River was an important travelling route for local Noongar as a Mort Bidi, or family track to attend corroborees and it's believed that there's a corroboree that exists somewhere here uh, near the confluence of the Swan and Helena rivers. Um, the exact location is no longer identified. This Guildford section of the Helena Valley was referred to by Noongars as Mandoon which means the place of many trees. As you can see, there's many trees lining the uh, side of the river there. Another dreaming story was about three mythical women who were ancestors of the people who occupied the Swan Coastal Plain. The women floated down the Helena River Valley uh, to Perth, the Perth area on balgas or grass trees in a, in a huge flood in the dream time. They set up camp and they spread out into the different countries by the Swan River. Flood was caused by the melting of the ice by the sun uh, because the people did something wrong. A piece of the, sw of the sun fell off and according to this version made Lake Nangara and it can still be seen to the north end of Lake Nangara. According to the Noongars, the Helena River is fed from numerous strings of living water and they also have a very detailed list of resting places and localities along the river banks. It's believed that around the 1880s uh, many Noongars travelled down the Helena River and Helena Valley from York uh, to work for farmers and, and picking fruit in the Guildford area. East of the Swan River, uh, on, on that side of the river, and to the north is Weep country. To the south, um, down to the Canning River, is Bilu country. Now my connection to this area is because I live in Helena Valley and I've walked along many parts of the Helena River with my family many times. Recently my son was in this park just here, next to us literally on that bank just over there and he found a discarded piece of fishing line and tied it to a stick and used some donut from his afternoon tea and caught four fish. I also came here and caught four, four fish with him. I was able to teach my son the value of looking after the, the river's resources as I'm sure many of the Aboriginal fathers would have um, done in teaching their sons about caring for the river, caring for the land and their country. Thank you.